thank you to the entire Upper Great Plains team. You guys are amazing partners as we deliver um, uh, transportation solutions throughout the state. So thank you so much. I want to welcome everyone uh, to the Local Government Summit. I want to thank you for joining us today This in this virtual platform. Uh, we're starting to get used to these virtual platforms, so um, they are a bit different, but but uh, uh, but we're getting used to them and they're working very well for us to get um, to get connected to our local communities, to get co connected to our townships, our cities, our counties around the state and to all of their partners as well. And frankly, to get connected to our citizens, even uh, even more frequently and more comprehensively than maybe we could in person. So this platform does is a little bit um, is a little bit new for everyone, but I think it's a really positive way of uh, sharing, of learning, uh, and of uh, being able to interact with you. So welcome again, and I want to thank all of you, uh, each and every one of you that are on this call today. Um, all of the DOT staff, all of the Upper Grain Great Plains staff all of our local government um, leaders that are that are on this uh, on this uh, platform today i want to thank you for your support of transportation throughout north dakota it is a diverse system with lots of needs and it's not all about big interstates as dale pointed out it's about a lot of things that are going on all at the same time and that are all interconnected um, and working together we can improve uh, not only our transportation system, but our economy and our quality of life in North Dakota. Uh, this summit offers a broad spectrum of key local roadway topics and is uh, and is condensed into this learning session, which is just a great way of getting a lot of information very quickly. So it's fantastic. Each topic provides critical asset information and management techniques that are important to the components of a local roadway management system. So they have been very thoughtful, the team, at putting together something that you can use, that you can use as soon as, uh, as soon as this is over, you can go out and actually use in the field, which is great. We will cover some of the best practices in county and township, city and tribal uh, nations uh, to provide better and safe roads because most, if not all of the solutions that we use at the state level are found in our local government, tribal nations, cities and townships. It's fantastic what's going on out there. Um, you know, we understand how you, uh, and, and we take a lot of time to understand how you and the local entities work hard to provide a transportation system in your area. We hear about it every day. We work with you every day in various corners of the state. And uh, it is a privilege, frankly, uh, to work with all of those uh, you know, sort of different communities throughout our state. It's really fantastic. And it's that fabric which makes North Dakota great. It takes a coordinated effort, as all of you know, uh, to work on our roads and bridges, flood control systems, and our transit programs. And these are all very critical for daily life in our, in our state. And it's, it takes a coordinated effort amongst all of us to do that. Um, we want to work with you each and every day as we have been and continue to enhance that work uh, to provide smart infrastructure that serves everyone from farmers, businesses, and especially the traveling public. I want to emphasize this area. Um, you will hear a lot through this day about smart infrastructure and smart decision making and in this integrated concept and it's all very, very important to the success of our state, our economy, and our daily life. Smart infrastructure provides more integrated and interconnected roads and solutions that do that, that interconnect our roads, that create integrated um, decisions that help everyone. Um, it also helps to make our bridges more safe. It helps to move people and goods, not only from our great agricultural economies and communities throughout the state, but our energy economies and communities as well. We truly appreciate your input today. Interact with all of the people that you see and that you talk to. Engage them, ask questions. This is your meeting, this is your conference. And um, again, thank you so much for taking time out of your busy, busy day uh, to attend this, um, uh, this summit. Uh, I'd like to thank Brian Fuchs, Steve Solway, Peggy Anderson of Indy DOT, and again, a huge amount of gratitude to 
the Upper Great Plains Transportation Institute and its staff members, Tim Horner, Dale, uh, who's on the screen, Thomas Jink for, uh, Jarek, sorry, for the work on putting it together. Um, uh, I really, really very much appreciate all of the work of the staff because I know there's a lot more than that, that 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 came together to put all of this information together, all the presenters, all of that, and all of you. I just want to thank you and extend my gratitude on behalf of Governor Burgum and Lieutenant Governor Sanford for joining us today and, uh, and uh, have a great conference. Thank you so much, Dale.